Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, uh, we finished the Enchanted Earth, and maybe we did a bit of a boo-boo. And we unleashed the Shadow Demons. Oops. Right. <laughs> um, never mind. Well, I'm sure we will um, <clears throat> come up with a, a solution for that in due time. So, I think it's about time that we moved on to one of my favorite levels in the game. Pools of the Ancient Dead. This is a uh, old battlefield where Dan uh, and his friends held the line and actually defeated Zarok's army. Unfortunately, due to Zarok's evil magic, uh, a lot of the long resting soldiers have uh, come back. Which is bad because they see Dan as the enemy this time. Never mind. Let's go and ease their uh, eternal suffering. Pools of the Ancient Dead. The Battle of Galamir is long past, but an army of the undead still marches through these muddy plains. Try not to trip on your own grave. Ooh. Wouldn't that be cool if um, Dan's grave was actually here somewhere? Ooh, that would be cool. Yeah, it looks like his arm has got a bit rusty after all these years. Well done. How does it feel to be back, my friend? Probably not that great, to be honest. Let's take a weapons check. I guess we're going to go... Ah, no. The best weapons, really, for this mission are probably the hammer, because you need the hammer for the big guys. And the axe, because it's got a nice bit of range to it, and it's quite a damaging weapon. So, regardless of what I said about the axe, my opinion of it, as I've been testing this game, has certainly been changing. Right, let's go talk to this gargoyle. Cold and dark and reeking of death. We would have been as an ancient battle fought here. We do. Between the forces of good and the dark armies of Zarak. Now the marshes are full. I. Now, unfortunately, this was a pretty heavy battle um, back in the oldie times, and uh, it was devastating for both sides. But good did prevail. Weapons are useless against the heavy armor of the knights. Don't let them shove you in the swamp. <laughs> that mud will never come. Out. Yeah, um, we cannot actually hurt the knights. We have to knock them into the water. But that is where this bad boy comes in. Uh, unfortunately, it's kind of horrendous that we have to... Oh, God, you little shit stain. We have to drown these poor suffering knights. We have a new book. We'll do the book at the end, I think. Right, let's go see our friend over here. Hello. Greeting, stranger. I am the boatman. It is I who ferry lost souls on their final journey to the land of... Is that right? Behold, have we not met before? Sir Daniel Fortescue, not you too. Thanks to Zarag's men, them up to me, I sockets and lost souls have woken from the eternal mm -hmm. sleep. Business hasn't been this brisk since before they invented sanitation. Oof. Look, if you help me to gather up a boatload of eight lost souls and bring them here, I'll, I'll drop you off at the sunken town of Melamine. Hmm, that sounds like a deal, I suppose. The sunken town of Melamede, you see. We've read about that place. Right, let's get rid of some of these large knights. Uh, death, I don't think, has been too kind to them. Maybe their bodies have just bloated uh, from being underwater for all this time. That's kind of a rather horrendous thought. There is an atmosphere to this level. There really is. Oof, look at that. There is an atmosphere to this level, and it's really quite horrendous. The music also helps. Uh, do we want to... No, we don't want to do that. What can we do? There's no point in chanting the sword. We're going to get a new sword soon. Uh, not going to waste too much money. Oh, I love that. Actually, check that out as well. If we uh, don't give him any money, he gets all sad. <laughs> no money for you, you bastard. Right. 
here we have the militia gu oh god the militia guys so we have the big knights who aren't really much of a threat but we also have these guys these militia soldiers these are more of a threat they actually do a lot of damage to us and our axe isn't exactly helping us out here much right there we go that'll do that'll do come on dan boy there we go that will do nicely what else have we got? Are we clear? Nope, there's one there. Come on, Dan. Give him everything you have. Out axe throw the guy. Because they throw axes at us. Uh, we've got another shield, though. We don't really need it, though. Okay, now, one good thing about this is we can use it to activate chests from afar. And... Wow, that was actually fairly devastating. I approve. Well done, Dan. That was good thinking. Right, let's go collect these souls. Now, these souls, for some reason, are helmets. The, the dead, which, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense, I suppose. Get in the water, sir. Come on. Look. Ugh. It's a shame that we have to put all you guys back to sleep, but that's the way it is, I'm afraid. We don't make the rules. I like the way they struggle as well. It's, <laughs> it's, it's quite sad in a way. Not everybody... Oh, right. Uh, now, I have a feeling we've done goofed here. Pretty sure we have done goofed. Because I don't think that's the friendly guy. Pretty sure that's not the friendly guy. No, he is the friendly guy. Okay, cool. I know later on there is another level where we can uh, uncage a dragon spirit. But he is not a friend. He's quite a little bastard, actually, but thinking about it, I think he's red. Oof, there's so many explosive boxes here. I like it. Yes, sir, I like it. There's the chalice. We just need some souls. As you can see, we're not getting a lot of souls for, for killing all of these guys. We need to fetch quite a few. But that's okay, because there's a lot of things to fight on this level. Come on, sir, in the drink. Don't be like that now. Nasty bit of business, but it's got to be done, mate. There we go. Chaos rune. Just what we wanted. Uh, life bottle up there. There's actually a heck of a lot of life in this level. Which is good. Did? Did that bridge just disappear? Oh, God. Right, so a lot of this level revolves around us using the daring dash to jump across certain areas. Which is fine. When the during the the yes okay so every soul we pick up a little bit of the land disappears, I never noticed that before. Right, yeah, these bridges are disappearing. Okay, that's awkward. So yeah, using the daring dash is a good idea in theory when it works. Quite often, it won't work, and we will fall into the river. And lose an entire life bottle. Which is, well, that's as great as you can imagine it being, to be honest. Okay, that's working fairly well at the moment. Yeah, uh, really impressed with this axe, you know. It's way better than I thought it was. I don't know why I thought it was so rubbish. Maybe because I didn't really use it, I suppose. It's definitely uh, versatile, that's for sure. Having both long-range... Uh, and melee capabilities. And I did look up the stats for it as well. And the stats for it are impressive. It, it really is quite high uh, on the scale. Alright, so that's a lot of the souls collected. Let's keep moving through the marsh. How are you feeling, Dan? Does it feel good to be back? Also, if we get the camera angle just right in certain areas of this place. Oh, God. Where is it? There is a little area that you can go to. It's actually quite a big area, thinking about it. And you can see all the bodies 
underneath the water. Ah, bollocks. That's fine. Where was that to? And I thought that was quite a cool little bit of detail. Ah, yeah. I mean, this isn't the bit that I saw earlier, but this is one of them. Look at all the bodies floating in the water. Oof. Oh, you spicy little monkeys. Oh, see? That almost didn't work there. And we almost drowned. Which is bad. Look at all those goodies over there. And yes, there is a life bottle over there. Which is nice. Because we can bloody use it, I tell you that. Well, I mean, we've got a lot of health. The trouble is, there are levels coming up later. Including the next level, which is actually fairly tricky. Because the enemies stop fucking around. Um, do we want to grab the life bottle now? Yeah, I guess we can do. Don't want to grab this health if we can help it. Because... There's a very good chance we're going to need it later. Alright, there's another soul. Cheers, buddy. And the last soul is down here. But hold! It's a trap, because of course it is. Right, all helmets collected. Oh my god, look at it out there. It is flavor country. Ah, we're getting a leathering. You know what? Hold on, Dan. Once more. Back to battle. How does it feel, Dan? Does it feel like you're home? There we go. I wonder if Dan really does feel at home on the battlefield. Yeah, God. You can see just how much punishment you can take. Actually, we're not really doing that bad, to be honest. But these militiamen are way tougher than anything else. Now, when I uh, practiced this level, I did actually get a glitch which really confused me. I had an enemy uh, stuck in the door, glitched through the door. Um, and as those doors only reopen when you kill them all, that was a little bit awkward, but hey, I managed uh, with some perseverance to get the door to break open. But hold, there are more militia men. We shall cut our way out of this place, Dan. Yeah, more, excellent. Also, they spawned earlier when I played it earlier. Ah. They actually appeared as I was running down the... The ramp the first time. Interesting. Uh, I guess that's not really much of a bug, but... Interesting difference nonetheless. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, God. These magic bastards. Ah. Little magic gremlin... Come here, you bastard. Don't make me get the bow out. There we go. Oof. Spicy mofo. Those guys, they're not that tough, but they're bloody annoying. This guy out here is actually really hard to get. Because for some reason, he just doesn't seem to activate. Which, you know, is great. Oh, he actually activated that time. I was stuck trying to get him for ages before. The chalice can now be collected. Excellent. Then let's do exactly that. Let's finish these guys off because we don't really want to get stabbed in the ass. Oof, God. Grab that life bottle because why not? Or energy vial, I should say. Yeah, some more magicians over there. The animations don't exactly work very well either, but eh. It is what it is, I suppose. They look like they're flying, but they're not actually moving, which is a bit bizarre. But again, it's a budget game, I suppose. It doesn't actually impede the way the game plays. Come on, buddy. There we go. Also, you don't have to kill all the enemies on this level to get the chalice. Now, I know that's true for most levels. But I thought on this level, uh, we definitely had to kill everything. I guess not. Huh. Okay. Uh, nice. Up and over, guys. Right, and there is our prize. The Hall of Heroes awaits. Excellent. Oh, shit. Didn't need to do that. Almost killed us all. That's fine. Um, now... 
Let's go back and see the boatman. I think we've cleared this area out pretty nicely. But before we do that, we need to have a little read of our book, don't we? Because we've got some new, uh, some new information here. So we've got friendlies, which we should have. Oh, I guess we don't have the boatman yet. That's interesting. Armored knights. The heaviest of infantry and most ill-suited for the battle of Gatineau. Uh -huh. Many of them fell victim to the deep mud rather than swords or spears. These undead knights are most effective when rolled down hills or launched from catapults. Bloody hell. That's, uh, well, interesting tactics, I suppose. Touchy feelers of the Swamp Guardian, said to live deep below the water's surface. Though too timid to show his many faces, he still likes to stay in touch. Uh, sometimes he stays in touch too hard. Yeah, I can imagine so. Mud Knights. Oh, they're the Mud Knights. Okay. Oof, look at their, like, legs, man. Jesus. The soil of the ancient battlegrounds made fertile by the blood of centuries spits forth the husks of these sorry souls. Their battle should have long since ended. And yet, they still march in proud defiance of the living. Hmm. And they're ghouls. Oof. These crestfallen cravens once fled the battlefield and are now bound to ah. doomed to forever relive their greatest moment of shame. And forever is a long time. Tough break. I guess being dead isn't all fun and games. So they're the cowards, the deserters. Oof. And we have nothing there. Okay, I don't know why we can't have a little look at the boatman. Maybe we have to wait until the next level. I'm sure he does actually. Oh, the ferryman. Is he the boatman or the ferryman? I think he's the, the, the ferryman. Right. No, the boatman. Idiot. Let's give him the souls. How gracious of you. Makes a change to meet a polite young skeleton after dealing with those filthy sub types. Mm. Cheers, buddy. But if you don't mind, we need to uh, make a quick stop to the Hall of Heroes. Now, what are we up to? 13? Was it? Yeah, 13 chalices. That's good. I have a feeling that that's going to... Oh, I think we can get my favorite thing. I think we can get my favorite thing. Let's smash all of this stuff up, though, because we're a huge, massive goit. There we go. Right, not bad. Yes! Yes! Can we actually get anything else? Is it a choice? I mean, even if it is a choice, I'm going to get the big, nice, blue, shiny sword. Yes, it is a choice. Okay. You'd be silly to not pick up the sword. Kind of. What? Daniel, man, you can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. Yeah, I know. Here, take mine. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Dirk Steadfast. It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky thing says. <laughs> Good lad. Why, I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that weedy guild shield. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes, now we have the magic sword. Yes. Now, this magic sword actually does more damage. Admittedly, not a huge amount more damage, but it does more damage than the broadsword uh, when it's enchanted. And uh, when it... I think when you charge it up, it does something like four times the damage, which is absolutely ridiculous. It is such an insanely powerful weapon. Uh, and combine that with the huge sweeping arcs. It is by far, by a humongous margin, the most powerful sword in the game. And it literally renders everything else obsolete. Completely obsolete. 
Apart from some of the ranged weapons, yeah. You have literally no reason to ever pick up another melee weapon again. Oh, look. Yes. We're still not quite hollow, are we, Dan? But we do have our place. Interesting. It looks like we're wielding the broadsword. And it looks like the silver shield there as well. Okay, not bad. Anyway, I'm so much happier now we have these. These, this sword here pretty much will one hit most early enemies in the game. And the, even the uh, demons, the shadow demons are, well, literally weak before the scythe when it comes to this thing. It's terrifying. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, I'm so happy to have that sword. You have no idea. Ah. Oh. After kind of feeling like a lot of the other weapons are a little bit disappointing, not all of them, just some of them, having that weapon in our arsenal now, ooh, juicy. So guys, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I think we're going to the lake. And, ah, the lake. I'm not a huge fan of the lake. It's an interesting level. It's quite sprawling, it's quite a large level, which is good, but it has enemies there that are pretty damn tough, which is why it's kind of important to have this sword, but we'll cover that in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.